Today we're looking at a shocking topic. We're looking at electric potential. Electric potential is the juice that makes electricity go from lightning bolts, understanding why birds can survive on a power line, to developing batteries that make modern life possible. So let's dive right in. First, we have to wrap our heads around this idea that in an electric field, you can store up potential energy, electric potential energy. So potential energy is energy of position and in this case, we can associate it with an electric force, just like we could do it with a gravitational force. So for example, if you lift a weight, it takes work to lift it against the Earth's gravitational field. And that energy is stored against the gravitational field in terms of what's called gravitational potential energy. If we cut that string, we can release that weight. That weight can fall, it'll turn into kinetic energy. And that energy could then do work to pound a big stake into the ground. Roller coasters are just gravity powered. We pick them up and then we let them go. That's a good uh, analogy to try to picture electric potential energy. It takes energy to move, in this case, a positive test charge away from a negative source. This would be like our gravitational well here. And so by lifting that charge away, we store potential energy, in this case, electric potential energy in that electric field. And if we could cut this uh, you know, invisible string here, the positive charge would be attracted to the negative charge, and then we would have potential energy stored in that electric field released as kinetic energy. And as that charge flows, it could go through a circuit and power your cell phone, laptop, computer, etc. It takes work to move charges in an electric field. The electric field is the force we put on a positive test charge. And so in this case, we're going to use a gravitational analogy where we'll point our field downwards. And the idea is to have a higher energy, you want to move up against the field there. So if we lift a positive charge to the top of the screen here, that takes energy. And that work energy we put in is the force it takes to push that charge multiplied by the distance. So if we want to break this down, force to push a charge in an electric field is equal to Q times E because the electric field is force divided by Q and then we multiply by that distance. So in other words, we can find the electric potential energy by just multiplying Q, the size of the charge, times E, the strength of the electric field, times the distance we move it. And this looks just like the gravitational potential energy equation, where PE is equal to MGH. But in this case, instead of mass, we're looking at charge. Instead of gravitational acceleration, we look at the strength of the electric field. And then the distance is the distance we move within that field, which is usually the distance between the plates of a, of a battery. And in terms of gravity, we look at height. So for roller coasters, the taller the coaster, uh, usually the more potential energy you store up and the higher speed. Question number one, to check your understanding. Imagine we are gonna move a positive charge in an electric field flowing to the right. If we move the positive charge to the left against the electric field, what happens to the energy of this positive test charge? Is it A, there is no change in the energy. B, it increases. C, it decreases. Or D, we don't have enough information. So let's uh, give you a minute to see if you can uh, figure this out. <laughs> 